So hey again y'all, what's going on? Hi YouTube, what's up everybody? Social media land. Listen to all my new subscribers and ones from day one. Thank you so much for hanging in there. In this video, there were some questions about the four videos I took down. So basically, what's happening is um, my channel's good, but there were some valid questions made about, um, you know, maybe Sweet Ma trying to attack my channel, XYZ. But I realized at the end of the day, I didn't have much commentary over it, and that would give her a valid reason to try to come at me because I was just using her content. So now I'm going to speak over it and give my honest opinion. And I have the four points in here that I made in them four videos. I compiled them together to make one video so that my understanding is clear throughout this video and you don't have to go to four separate videos to hear. A lot of people have asked me on those comments, um, well, why did you feel this way and what does this mean? And so I'll be able to go ahead and break it down for you, all right? Stay tuned, and thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't already hit that subscription uh, box down below and the bell icon next to it, trust me, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Before I go any further, let me just go ahead and reiterate the four points that I was trying to make in those four videos. The first one is how it really all got started. The second one is how she would prefer or she made a statement about having a autistic child over a disabled child the third thing is how she told tasha k she better pray to god nothing happens to her unborn child and the fourth one is of course the controversial cough versus the congestion so if you can hang in there with me for about another uh 30 minutes or so i would greatly appreciate it i will break it down as we go and also, I'm going to add a fifth category, which is Sweet Ma speaking about spells a lot. You know, one of my um, subscribers who made a comment had, you know, mentioned the fact that she mentioned spells a lot. And actually, I had it in one of the clips. I just didn't put it in the title. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear what I heard. And then you can be the judge of it for yourself. Because remember, at the end of the day, Matthew 7 and 1 and 2 says, Judge not, lest you be judged by the same measures you judge people with. And with that being said, God bless you and have a great day. You're the liar. Now you're the one who stole something. You're the one who who's always doing this and that. So everything that they're doing, they're just throwing it on you. Off of me hopping into Sean Bradley's chat, telling him to watch out for Tasha K. She starts making fun of Slubby P. Sickerfell, and I kind of went off. Next minute, you know. She... First of all, let me just say, um, when you insert yourself into beef like she did over Lovely T. Lovely T is a grown woman, yes, dealing with her own problems and her own sickness with something Sweet Ma needs to be addressing with her own child. And you're going to hear her get some advice on this same live video right here that she did that particular night in question. Also, also she's, she's out, out here, here fighting, fighting for, for Lovely T, who, who probably would never throw a punch for her, if you know what I'm saying. So pick and choose your battles wisely. And that's something Sweet Ma clearly didn't do when she engaged in combat with Tasha K. Tasha K knew the only way to get to me and under my skin was to mention my miracle baby. Today she did something that hit a nerve. And when I tell you, I got so emotional. I, I said, I want to fly out to this bitch and whoop her fucking ass. Uh, all right, let me tell you what this bitch did today that made me want to go live. And I said... Let me come to you guys and ask you if I should make a video um, exposing this. So anyway, this trash bag made a... At this point, y'all, you can clearly hear the baby in the background. She mentioned something about an autistic child. Now, it, this touches me in a way that... Okay, I have people in my family that are autistic, and my son is special needs, right? And I'm still coping with that. So the minute this bitch said something about Gucci Mane's sperm being, like, 
She said his mom ain't shit. That's why his baby turned out to be underdeveloped and came out as an autistic child. I said, God, I never really hate anybody, but today I hate this bitch. I know what it feels like to have a special needs child, and you have too. God bless you. And I didn't want to talk about my son having special needs to anybody here because I know there's some haters that are watching and are probably laughing about it. But this shit ain't no fucking joke. It can happen to anyone. Okay? So the anger that I have right now, it's 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 coming from a, a mother, a single mother, that has to deal with this on her fucking own. And for Tasha to sit there and make fun, I don't give a fuck if she didn't. You can clearly but hear her anger. She made an apology yesterday saying that she would never talk about children, disabilities, or anything. But today she went on her fucking live and said that shit. And you better pray to God that your child doesn't come out with a disability. Okay, y'all. So we clearly heard her say in the beginning she jumped in Sean Bradley's live and, you know, addressed Tasha over love lovely tea excuse me so that's point number one and in this clip you just he clearly heard her say that tasha k needs to pray nothing happens to her baby and i just want to say was it done with malice in her heart or with a negative evil vibe behind it or you know we all know karma is a mug if you talk about children with disabilities then you know you may suffer this also what i'm getting from this is when they talk about um Gucci main sperm being low count to drugs and this that and the third sweet ma has a disabled child and in her mind and in her heart maybe she's thinking okay this probably happened to me because my ex has my ex um narc boyfriend who was allegedly married at the time and the the father of her child probably had low sperm count and this is why my baby is in the state that it's in. You never know, guys. I just want you to put your comments down below about that. Also, we can hear the anger coming from a woman who's righteously angry for a reason, I believe. It's frustrating. It's um, it's hard. It's embarrassing um, that you would have a man out in this world that don't want to be bothered with a child that has a disability. But as we journey forward, you're going to hear out of Sweet Ma's own mouth how she really feels about this child that uh, has a disability. So stay tuned, and I appreciate you for rocking with me so far. Thank you. And you wanted to bring my fucking son up after I made a video three months ago where he was congested, and you want to talk about buy him some fucking cough syrup. I'm not going to go deeper into this because I'm about to cry. Not cry because I'm emotional. Cry because I want to fucking knock She knows out. that my son has a disability, a severe. He, he's not even autistic. I would take my child being autistic over the disability that he has. Now, y'all clearly heard that come out of Sweet Ma's mouth on her own. And basically what I want to say to this is, which is point number three, I believe we heard her say how it got started. I believe we heard her say Tasha need to pray over her baby and we just heard her say she'd rather choose autism over dis over disability is in this live right here this particular live where she was exposing sweet ma her own that that video called uh, exposing sweet ma she was in a, in a in a state of rage on that live and um I always tell y'all, drunk people and angry people tell the truth. I know you always hear drunk people, but angry people too. When pe angry people get angry, they say what the hell they've been wanting to say all along. And I feel out of frustration, out of humiliation, out of embarrassment, out of just everyday living, that statement was made because people who are out here fighting against another woman, other entities, more they the more than they are fighting for themselves and their child, get in a state of mind where they wish they had a child in a different circumstance. Now being spiritual and and, and um looking at this from, with the eyes of God, ex you know, accept the creation and the blessing that God gave you cuz some people are born like born with disabilities from birth so that God can show the miracle in it. But then you have some people like sweet ma who can't see. She calls them a miracle baby, but then also 
she puts her baby out here for people to feel sorry for for people to uh sympathize with for people to love on her more and not really him so now moving right along y'all we're gonna go ahead and hear some footage of the uh controversial cough versus the congestion and we're also gonna hear sweet mom talk about spells in the segment to come but um sweet mom what i want to ask you is you know, when you decide to pick a fight with the enemy, how do you feel about um, the response that Tasha K gave you when she brought up your baby and mentioned, buy your baby some cough syrup? How do you really feel about that? Of course that's going to fucking piss me the fuck off. I mean, she didn't have to say disabled child because she fucking knew my son was disabled. Now let's get right into the controversial cough versus the congestion. Clearly you're here for yourself. What exactly is going on? Stay tuned. See, he kind of stopped. Anyway, um, I basically lost everything dealing with this guy. And um, after he left me, I said, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care. This is the seventh time your ass left me. Now I'm five months pregnant. Fuck it. Go. It's you love listening to the baby breathe. <laughs> He's stuffy. Now, as we go forward, we're going to hear some taps on the baby's butt. She says she was rubbing the baby butt prior to us hearing the smacks that we're going to hear. To me, it sounds like it's little pats on the baby's butt, but it's loud enough for you to hear. And one thing I want to encourage people is that I will never, ever accuse anyone of child abuse or child neglect. All I ever said pertaining to sweet ma patting the baby on the butt it, it it was a little aggressive to me and I always like to tell women and people when you have a problem keep your hands off your child not that you're doing it intentionally but there's some force that comes out of you that's a little greater than normal when you're angry and ranting and raving about your ex narc and Tasha K every now and then on camera now, listen to the taps and the pats for yourself, and you you be the judge. You decide. Leave your comments below. Thank you. Guys, let me just say the mimicking and imitation is real. Wine. Today's Wine Down Friday. I'm, I should put that as a title, see if I get sued. I'm just rubbing his butt. <laughs> I wonder if I could sip wine on this camera and not get in trouble. I'm just rubbing his butt. Rubbing his butt, okay, I'll take that. And all I said was, it was just a little loud and the baby wasn't fussy. Now, this was a perfect time to leave the child alone to me because the child was not fussing, crying, or congested at the time. Now, moving right along to the fifth thing, which is the spells that I hear this lady talks about. Uh, and now we'll be talking about Sweet Ma. She made reference into the same video here. And I do believe the video is called It's On Now Update or something like that. And it's since has been deleted or removed from her channel because this is all the information that was in it. That, you know, I would want to hide it too if I really tell how it got started by jumping in on Lovely T's uh, fight with Tasha K. How uh, I admit to wanting an autistic child over a disabled child. How I um would, you know, put a threat or a curse or a spell or ill intentions out there with malicious in my heart saying somebody better pray to God that this doesn't happen to their child. And, um... You know, uh, of course, the gurgling and the whole idea of I think the controversial cough versus the congestion is get the hell off a of camera, whether it's a cough or it's congestion. You spend three hours and the whole three hours. I don't have the whole clip, but I'm almost assuming and almost right that the baby was congestion congested through it all there was parts and clips of it where the child was not congested. But for the most part, I do believe that. She spent over three hours online with her child congested. And like I said, if you go over to um, Occult Gems, because I've been saying this from day one, Occult Gems, and I just happened to run into that video, and I'll include it. She was saying, Brittany Chanel, please, 
please tell her to run the shower and, you know, put the baby in it. Not put the baby in it, but get the steam. And you'll hear Occult Gems um, clarify that in her video. I'll try to put the link down below. But that that's what the controversy is. Not that the baby was coughing. Not Well, for Tasha K, it was a controversy, whether it was a cough or a congestion. But for the rest of us, we knew it was congestion. And we still believe that this was a perfect time for her to get the baby off camera. And that's all I'm saying. So now listen to what she refers to as spells being put on her or spells being put on the boyfriend and let me just say one thing with Haitian the culture of Haiti Haiti was known to be the Levites in the Bible they were the high priest and the Bible is prophesied and it says in the Bible that Haiti will be on a continent with another brother another kinfolk which is dominican republican just to point out the 12 tribes of israel here and that haiti will be poorer than the other brother on the continent but they both will practice witchcraft and voodoo i will try to get that information try to get that bible scripture y'all just google it just google the levites in another continent, I'll, I'll, I'll get it for y'all because y'all wouldn't know what to look for. But it says that and there's some truth to it. And they call it juju, voodoo, juju. Every continent and every culture just goes around and renaming what it was from the beginning because there's nothing new under the sun. This lady has been tied to a woman named Napta Lamara Seven who was, yes, friends with V.S. of TSCC. And this woman has made alliances with Tracy and Mona, who profess professes and jokes that she's a, a, a witch, you know? So the point I was trying to make in that live video I did, being interviewed by V.S. 2.0, is that there is a connection. There is a connection of some sort of witchcraft going on. And they very well can be using the Bible because I've said it before that the Bible is full of rituals and witchcraft that a lot of Christians use or people who was Christians or not no more. They know how to manipulate the word of God without having God in the presence of it. That's why the word always fails them. Now, let's get into hearing her just mention spells out of her name. And then you go back and look at some of the videos or go back and watch that documentary called Sweet Coexistence, Defining a Narcissist and an Empath. And you will hear and you will see her saying um, something to the effect that Satan is her ex-boyfriend. This is just so bizarre and weird you, to me, y'all. Well, listen, you might think that I did some kind of spell on him. You might think I did some kind of spell on... Honestly, he sounds Amir's like a woman dad. had roots on him. Sounds like he loved you, but had a spell put on him. You think so? I don't know. Brittany Chanel, can you tell her sweet ma take him in the uh, bathroom with the shower running? Oh, I should do that? Okay. That'll help. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this was a cult gems. O C C U L T G E M S on YouTube that was in her live chat advising her, you know, what to do with the steam from the shower. And like I said, I'll try to put the, I will put the link down below in the picture of her doing her live and it just happened to come across my timeline i said oh let me watch this and not only that she was talking about how they fell out because of some um other youtubers live chat that went wrong grown folks now let's go ahead and get into this first live she did call it's on now update first live i want you guys to pay attention to this time three hours 14 minutes and 54 seconds okay that's how long she was on live with her baby on the side of her now, I don't know this occult gems, I am God and the devil, but personal testimony with the Queen's Corp, she was the one that gave Maddie those bones. And I did a video, Maddie, a warning from God, get those bones out your house. Now, this isn't any disrespect to Miss Occult Gems, but what I'm saying is some people, when you start dibbling and dabbling in other spirits and other uh, ritualistic behavior, it don't always work out for you. And I told Maddie, this is the reason why the Queen's Court 
broke up. It was at that time when I seen Maddie, let's consult the bones, and she dropped those bones down on the table. Well, let's consult the bones. Um, right around that time, her and Kaya started falling out over equipment and other stuff. And not too shortly after that, there was a video surfacing that people were saying Maddie was at the crossroads of the railroad tracks throwing those bones away. And I just want to say, Maddie, that those bones might have brought a different kind of spirit amongst you all. Maybe it was in love to have the sponsor on the show and the sponsor wanted to get sponsored. But when you were dropping them bones on that table, honey, something spoke to my spirit this morning. And I usually don't say God say this and God say that, Maddie, but uh, T.S. Madison, get the bones out of your house. Um, I just want to say one more thing, that the bones very well could have been spiritually related to you and Kaya um, getting... Uh, separating. When I see people with uh, those kind of bones from a gym called Occult, Occult Gym Maddie, Occult O-C-C-U-L-T Maddie, get some goddamn bones out your house right now. Maddie sure has. Have been doing pretty good, I must say, ever since then. Let's Let's be real, okay? I actually was chilling with her the other night. She was eating from Bahama Breeze or something like that. And they actually said, hey, Religion Wink TV in the comments. So I appreciate that, Maddie. Thank you. And I've always forgiven you, Maddie, for that copyright strike that you had gave me originally, but since been taken off of my video. I appreciate that. Now back to Occult's Gym. This video right here came across my timeline. I said, what the hell? I said, uh, sweet ma, let me address this. So I clicked on it. And lo and behold, it had more information that I've been telling you. Occult Gems is the one that said to Brittany Chanel in that live chat, Brittany, tell her to run the shower to, you know, at the time you didn't hear steam, but tell her to run the shower and put the baby in it to that effect. Now, let's hear what Occult Gems has to say in her own words as she explains to you what happened in that live chat. Because I wasn't there. I watched the replay. But it surely was one night after Tasha K did her Effery Friday talking about Gucci Mane and this, that, and the third. And all this other stuff came out of this one video right here. Her first live is where we get all this controversy from, okay? So, let's hear what Occult Gems has to say. So to your live real quick. So this is the Sweet Mom for Life. And this is her live on October the 19th. This was right after Tasha K situation. Right after she and I think Linus of Judah. Okay. Had created a page. Now I'm not sure. And that's exactly how you got to do it Sweet Mom. I remember in that video you said that you had created some page i am hater star marie for tasha when you created that page um but i understand that somehow lioness of judah is somewhere in there so maybe y'all created it together to catch up tasha k this I've is around that time right after that thing. so I'm, we're watching your stuff and i'm in your chat and this is all me talking because y'all know i runs my goddamn mouth i've been saying the so exact same thing begging her to give her my number that's a damn lot now let me tell you what did happen Real quick. Yeah, I know it goes on behind the scenes once you get what those numbers. What did happen in her live, going to go to Sweet My Channel, it's called It's On Now Update First Live. So this is her first live video. First live video after all these years on YouTube. In it, I say right here, a cult gem says, I said, Sweet Ma, do your baby have a cold? Now let me tell you what's going on. I'm going to play the video in a minute. And she was on this live, as you see, for over three fucking hours. I second that And the baby emotion. could not breathe. Now, me being the type of bitch that I am, I don't want to blast you online on your own fucking live. And be like, damn, you that's some fucked up shit. You got to be on this motherfucker with these motherfuckers. Then, you know, nurse your baby and make sure your baby can breathe and shit. Hallelujah. So what I did was I politely said, do your baby has a cold? Because everybody kept staying in the live. After I said that, everybody kept staying in the live. Is something wrong with your baby? 
is something wrong with your baby. And I'm thinking, we can't even hear her for the baby break, can't, can't breathe. That's a true statement. So I said, how can I do this diplomatically and not embarrass or shame her? Because that's not what I want to do. God knows the motive of a man's heart. So I heart. said to her, I hear it in him. Do we have an inhaler? Because I asked her if he had a cold. And she said, yes. Inhalers don't work for colds. Okay. Sweet mom, I said, take him to the bathroom with the hot shower running with lots of steam for about 15 minutes, and it will clear him up real good. This is known so to I work just like the her. pot of water on a stove. She misinterpreted it, and she thought that she was supposed to put him into the shower. That was funny. And I was saying, oh, fuck no to myself. He'll catch fucking pneumonia. No, you can't put no baby. So I'm thinking this girl might really not be a mom. Like, this might be her first time being a mom. So she might not really know, you know what I'm saying, how to mother a child. I understand if it's your first time. So I'm assuming this is her first child because everyone knows you don't put no fucking baby in no goddamn shower. What I was telling her was to steam the motherfucking bathroom up so it's like a natural inhaler. And it will clear the baby's lungs. Okay, I got to go through all that to, say, to, to get to my point. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. But that's, that's how I go. So I'm like screaming at her the whole time because I, I care for the child and I don't want the child hurt. So I'm like, oh, shit, she about to put the baby in the motherfucking shower. Oh, shit, what can I do? So I kept on trying to contact her, contact her and say, just turn on the shower. Then I said, what is your email address, sweet ma? Because I wanted to contact her. I wanted to call her. I mean, I wanted her to call me. And pretty much that's what the beef was between her and Sweet Ma in Grown Folks live chat that night. Check out our video. All right, back to business at hand. Guys, to find out what else she said, go visit the video at Occult Gems on YouTube. And it's called Sweet Ma Addressing the Situation in Grown Folks Live or something to that effect. So what I basically want to say, no disrespect to occult gems or sweet ma but there was clearly an issue going on with the baby that day and i'm not the only person that observed it or heard it now back to this how i felt for satan and all the other spells and things i was talking about that uh sweet mom reference um here's a video you can go watch it um i words speak life and death in my book and when she says how i felt for satan um her ex, when you start labeling things, projecting things, calling things that be not as though they are, you may end up with a Satan for your boyfriend. And um, it's sad, but I want you guys to go ahead and look at this clip from Wikipedia, exactly what Juju is, um, how the Haitians practice this, and let me know what your thoughts are down below. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and read it for you, and then... You can let me know what your thoughts are down below. So Juju is French. And we all know that the French colonized the Haitians when they were brought over as people to be slaves. Juju is a spiritual belief system incorporating objects such as amulets and spells used in religious practice as part of witchcraft in West Africa. The term has been applied to traditional African religions. The term juju and the practices associated with it traveled to the Americas from West Africa with the influx of slaves via the Atlantic slave trade and still survives in some areas, particularly among the various groups of Maroons who have preserved the African traditions. In Haiti, again, let me just say, are the Levites of the Bible and, um, again, rituals were performed in the bible so guys let me know what your thoughts are down below let me know if i tied in everything together in this video let me know if i proved my points on the five things that encouraged me to uh put the first four videos out um the point about her how it all got started how she said tasha needs to pray over her baby how she um talks about autism over disabilities how she talks about, oh, the controversial cough over congestion 
and how she talks about spells. If I did my job, if you guys are satisfied with this video, please subscribe, share, support this channel because that's all I'm going to do. After today, there's no more specific videos to Sweet Ma. I have proven to you through all the videos I did. Please go check out Sweet Coexistence. That's defining a, a narcissist and the empath, which I believe Sweet Ma, who said it best in that video, an empath is nothing but a narcissist. So it's real possible for a narcissist in an empath to coexist in one. And I find this in Sweet Ma. And I've done enough research in this last week. It didn't take me since September to come out with a documentary in de in December and still don't prove anything more to me about Tasha K than what adds up to be Sweet Sweet Ma's the plight or plight or, or situation at hand as well. She proved to me in that documentary that she's more of a narcissist than Tasha K will ever be. She proved to me in all the research and everything that I've ever did in the last two or three weeks, just even reviewing some of her videos and hearing some of the things she says, proved to me that um, as much as she know about narcissism, she's always attracted to them. So I find that kind of odd and funny that your expertise in narcissism, but yet you always fall victim to a narc. So guys... Again, this isn't bashing. This isn't taking anybody's side. This isn't hating her. Shout out to her and her family for the past loved one that, you know, just expired, you know, within the last week. God bless her and her baby. But, however, nonetheless, and still the same, this needs to be addressed. It was never a personal attack on her like it has been on Tasha K for the last three or four years. It will... Tasha's only been on about three or four years, but it seems like when she first came in contact with Tasha K, that's when her obsession started. So, again, if you feel like I've done anything remotely as to prove my points in this video, please leave your comments down below. Thank you so much. God bless you and shalom. Here is some very valuable information about the Haitians, also known as the Levites. Pretty much in this information here, you'll see how the Levites, the brother named Levi and the brother named Simeon, you know, had a lot of wickedness with them. They pretty much um, were prophesied uh, to be a base. Uh, they went following after the Romans and, you know, lost their Levitical priesthood, um, somehow ended up the poorest people in the world, but still rich in spirit. They just don't know they're the Levites and they're living their lives as Haitians, just like so many of us don't know we're the 12 tribes as well, along with the Haitians. But it talks about the crystals, it talks about the stone, it talks about the wickedness, and it mentions voodoo. Shalom.